Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your, your spirit. spirit. And so as we come together, join in this celebration of the Eucharist now, we prepare ourselves, acknowledging our sins, and turning to the Father, who is rich in mercy, as we pause in silence. Lord Jesus, you have revealed yourself as the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd <coughs> leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray and praying in this Mass. I offer this Mass for Marie Coulon. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. You must live your whole life according to the Christ you have received, Jesus the Lord. You must be rooted in him and built on him and held firm by the faith you have been taught and full of thanksgiving. Make sure that no one traps you and deprives you of your freedom by some secondhand, empty, rational philosophy because <coughs> on the principles of this world instead of on Christ. In his body lives the fullness of divinity and in him you too find your own fulfillment in the one who is the head of every sovereignty and power. In him you have been circumcised with circumcision not performed by human hand, but by the complete stripping of your body of flesh. This is circumcision according to Christ. You have been buried with him when you were baptized and by baptism, you too have been raised up with him through your belief in the power of God who raised him from the dead. You were dead because you were sinners and had not been circumcised. He has brought you to life with him. He has for forgiven us all our sins. He has overridden the law and canceled every record of the debt that we had to pay. He has done away with it by nailing it to the cross. And so he got rid of the sovereignties and the powers and paraded them in public behind him in his triumphal procession. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is <coughs> compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord is compassionate to all his creatures. I will give you glory O oh God, my King, I will bless your name forever. I will bless the Lord is compassionate to all his creatures. <laughs> all your creatures shall thank you, O oh Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O oh God. 
The Lord is compassionate to all his creatures. chosen you from the world says the lord to go and bear fruit that will last alleluia 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out into the hills to pray, and he spent the whole night in prayer to God. When day came, he summoned his disciples and picked out twelve of them. He called them apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James. John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground, where there was a large gathering of his disciples, with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and from Jerusalem and from the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also cured, and everyone in the crowd was trying to touch him because power came out of him that cured them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. As we live in a time of a pandemic, we tend to regularly hear about community spread. There is a picture of a spread taking place in the gospel, a spread through many people, but not a spread to be feared or to make us ill, instead a spread for the good, for good growth, for healing. And it starts off small. Jesus spends the whole night in prayer, which points to how momentous it is in choosing the 12 apostles. The community of the kingdom is to rest upon the foundation of the, these 12 chosen individuals. The significance here is that this will affect the whole future of the church. Jesus calls his disciples chooses 12 of them, and he names these apostles. Jesus himself is the first apostolos, the one who is sent. The Father has sent him, and now in his turn, he chooses these 12 who are to be sent, to be given authority to act in his name, to represent him and what he stands for in the world. And so there is to be a spread throughout all peoples, a rippling forth from this point. Jesus comes down with them to level ground, and here there is a great crowd of disciples and a great multitude of people. And so firstly, these fresh apostles witness what is central to the spread that reflects their mission and the will of God. They witness Jesus' power to heal and deliver people from bondage. It's a ministry of healing and setting free. All in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out of him, came out from him and healed them all. Here was a momentous beginning of a community spread of growth 
the spread of goodness, of love and mercy, of healing. What a spread Jesus has set in motion that has reached us today. And so now let us bring our prayers before the Heavenly Father. The Gospel gives us a clear image of the ministry of Jesus. He prays, he teaches, he heals, and he appoints co-workers for the kingdom. That the Australian Plenary Council will show a church community intent on working together for the holiness and good of every member. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That we may follow the example of Jesus and devote time to personal prayer every day. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who teach in the name of Jesus in the church may do so with a firm commitment to his truth. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of the healing professions may, especially during the pressures of the pandemic, be treated with respect and kindness. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That all students in all schools will experience them as places of safety. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause as we think of the prayers that we bring and join to this Mass. For our beloved deceased, especially Marie Coulon, Eternal God, you crown the poor with salvation and enable the faithful to rejoice in your glory. Guide us as we journey through life and bring us to the fullness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands under the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all is holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life. For you never forsake the works of your wisdom, 
but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert. Now as your church makes her pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her <coughs> by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity so that together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and, all, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also us when our to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And so let us show forth some sign of peace to those who are with us now. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be. Listen to Jesus' words of invitation. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. An act of spiritual communion. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are in the, in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, heal me. Blood of Christ, fill me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Good Jesus, hear me. In your wounds, shelter me. From turning away, keep me. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. Into your presence, lead me. To praise you with all your saints forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, may be nourished and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you to uh, those who ministered in this Mass. Um, as I've mentioned before, some of you, though, may have missed that or not really been aware that uh, and wondered, oh, we seem to keep having the same people involved in these masses uh, through the week. That's because we are following government directions, the directions of the Department of Health and Human Services, where they say we have to have, we can have, one team as a bubble uh, for weekdays and another team for the Sunday Mass or Masses. And so uh, we're, we're stuck um, with this one team for our Masses during the week and, and then the other team uh, for the Sunday Mass, which is live streamed from 5 p.m. on the Saturday. And so I tell, say to Father Anil that he's the Sunday specialist and I'm the weekday person. So um, this is the way it is at this time. Um, and of course, it just continues to go on. But I'm grateful to, to those who are assisting and ministering at our masses. And um, so they've been made very clear in the directives that uh, the clergy cannot be the same clergy in both teams, and so that at least has enabled both Father Anil and I to share uh, ourselves being in one team each, and uh, there has to be a different technician, a different reader, and different um, musician and singer. So from one team to the other. So there we are. So I'm grateful to those who assist and keep things going so that so many people can be connecting to the celebration of Mass. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat>